Barrett not only is a ranged damage specialist with amazing burst damage, he's also an incredible support tank that can protect your allies not only by taunting enemies, but by preventing them just from taking damage anyway with some amazing defensive and HP regen buffs. So let's go! Yuffie, Kate Sith, or Red? I'm going to do one more, just one. Maybe two if you ask nicely. So, Barrett is a ranged DPS that you can lean into his damage if you choose to go that route. However, his skills seem to push him in the direction of being more of that tank and support. And that's what I've really decided to lean on, especially considering all of my other builds mostly focus around playing as that actual character. I thought we'd do one here that's more essentially like a support focus where you don't necessarily need to play as Barrett, but he really excels as that support ally that can help you not only with synergy skills, but also protecting them as well. So firstly, when your skills, you want to make sure you grab regeneration. This applies to the regen status at the start of combat. Then you combine this with physical safeguard, which applies protect at the start of combat. And then you can buff these a little bit further with the selfish buff up. So increases the duration of these beneficial status effects. Now you will lose regen after a certain period of time but with the high caliber weapon you can actually re-trigger the protect status effect anytime you overcharge so essentially you're always going to have that defensive buff active now there are other things we're doing with this build as well so one of the main things is we're using provoke materia so barrett will then taunt enemies if one of your other party members gets into like a critical status of health he'll taunt all the enemies and they'll then attack him this is great because of that hp regen and high defense right he's primed to be in that really tanking role and it's also perfect because of the lifesaver skill here. So this allows Barrett to take damage intended for their allies for a period of time. This seems to last a really, really long time. So what you can really do here is by comboing lifesaver plus the HP regen plus the high defense that Barris gets, and you can buff yourself even further by using, say, barrier, right, to give you even higher, like, resistance to damage. Essentially, you can have the rest of your party just avoid damage. All of that damage gets funneled into Barrett, which he doesn't take much of it he's got regen anyway and then if he does need healing you can heal him on top of that right because he's got a high h pool anyway it doesn't necessarily happen that often but there's also other material that we're using for barrett here as well to follow up on that synergies like skill usage and then like if you want to use barrett sort of as a bit more of that damage role which he can absolutely do you can stagger enemies with things like bonus round and then deal burst damage with something like maximum fury but we'll cover that in a little bit in this video we'll start with material right so we have touched on on provoke now this pulls enemies to barrett when an ally is severely injured only when an ally is severely injured right now because it's only at that time you won't see this effect go off too much you will see it in the top right hand corner when it does go off right it'll say that barrett has taunted all the enemies it is worth having though because he will protect allies and it does help especially in tough boss encounters or just tough encounters in general where like you might get caught out take a ton of damage he can taunt them and just give you that breathing room which is really critical just to be able to heal up or do something, you know, if you need to be able to get some like effects off, he's really valuable for that. I also like having Barrett with auto cast for the barrier material. So he can cast barrier on himself or cloud or whoever else, right? Just for extra physical defense. On top of that, I'm also using the synergy material with Barrett as well and linking it with a fire material. Now you don't have to use fire here, right? You can link it with any kind of material that you like, any of the spells. I prefer fire because it's like the most common weakness and you see it everywhere. Obviously switch it up to match weaknesses in certain encounters. But essentially what this does is anytime that Cloud or one of your other party members uses a skill, Barrett will follow up with fire and it doesn't cost any ATB or MP or anything. He will just use it for free if you have used a skill. He will just like follow up immediately after that. And that's why I think this fits well as sort of a support port focus build right so barrett can do all of these things and you, he can take damage for you he can deal damage back and it's really beneficial for that i also like having both the auto weapon ability or the auto unique weapon ability on barrett the auto unique weapon ability will allow barrett to cast overcharge on his own essentially refreshing his defensive buff on his own without you having to do anything auto weapon ability allows him to cast things like lifesaver bonus round etc on his own without you having to do it right now you can put both of these on or one of them it's up to you i also like having atb stagger on Barrett because you're going to stagger enemies a lot, especially if you're playing as Barrett, right? Bonus round, those sort of abilities that Barrett has really brings that stagger bar up. So you can get that extra ATB to trigger things like it's really good to say stagger an enemy, get that massive ATB boost and then dump it all with maximum fury, which is Barrett's like, you know, 
like really powerful burst damage attack that you can do. If you wanted to drop any of these auto materials and like just play as Barrett, you could run HP up to further increase his HP or steadfast block, which is also great for tanking if you say you're guarding as Barrett and you want, can still gain ATB in that way. So for your weapons, equipment and all that good stuff, for your like equipment really, you want to wear a vest here to give you additional vitality and HP for Barrett. Can't go wrong there. For weapons, right, you already have the maximum fury weapon skill, which we've talked about the benefits here. This is what you want to use to dump ATP as Barrett, right? Like once you've got say lifesaver active or anything like that, and you just want to use up that ATP. Maximum Fury is definitely the way to go. High caliber rifle, you'll get super early in the game in like chapter two, I think it is. And this gives you bonus rounds so you can build up that stagger very quickly. It actually makes a significant difference in the amount of stagger potential that you can do. The barrage blast that you get in chapter seven as you're like going through the coal mines, I believe. So this is really where you get lifesaver from, which is really critical for this build. So you can suck all of that damage into Barrett, but also it's the weapon that has the weapon skill overcharge protect on it, right? Which essentially means that anytime you cast overcharge, you'll essentially get that trigger effect from protect status just active so anytime it runs out just at the start of combat you can just use overcharge to trigger it now obviously you want to like master these weapons so then you can actually just use the barrage blaster with lifesaver you want to get bonus round off the high caliber and while it might not be like the highest damage weapon with barrage blaster it doesn't matter too much because it's not the main focus for this barrett build right we're focusing just on that support mechanics and being able to really leverage that to help cloud and the other allies in combat some build tips for this build is you want to cast lifesaver with your first ATB at the start of combat. This will make sure that you are taking that early fight damage while you've still got regen and defense active. And you also never want to waste time just like manually charging overcharge, right? Like if you're trying to get that protect status back up and just like pressing square as you can do to like charge, you could sort of just like attack normally, right? Like it will charge over time. It doesn't matter too much unless you desperately need it. I'm also a big fan of the United Refocus synergy skill. Like I've talked about this in a bunch of videos, but because Barrett is really playing as a support here you can get that extra third atb with cloud which is really beneficial to both of you to have it especially for the cloud build that we've discussed earlier as well iron defense is like surprisingly good right you can just sort of like stand there and be immune to basically all damage the downside to this is that like you know you can't attack while this is active but if you just want to avoid like a big hit from enemies you can use iron defense but you can use steel skin as well right it works pretty similarly just to then allow you to like have take reduced damage for a period of time but you can actually still attack attack in those turns but but the main focus on this build really isn't playing necessarily as barrett right you want to make sure you're getting these effects off like you know steel skin lifesaver etc and then just allowing barrett to sort of run as his own operator you know using overcharge on his own to then generate the protect and just like taking that damage and that brunt of damage from allies do make sure that you've got someone that can heal him right it does occasionally happen where in really tough encounters that he will just essentially tank too much damage and you might actually need then to have someone to heal him like Aerith or even just using like items right you know you can quickly top him up and we'd know not too much drama I'd also mention as well that the synergy material that we discussed earlier only goes off if you're not actually playing as Barrett right you have to be like selected as someone else say Cloud for example use a spell etc and then that effect will go off you can't say use it and then immediately switch to Barrett because it will like override that effect actually going off so just make sure that you've got that and then you've got that automatic follow-up on any of your attacks that he will actually do for you just to keep that pressure going but let me know what you think of this build in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.